I'm standing here in the middle of a frozen Lake Manitoba. And if you just take a look at that beautiful scenery for two seconds, what a beautiful sight. I'm gonna make one of my most favorite kind of comfort foods to make. Super easy to make on the ice, which means it's very, very easy to make at home. And we're gonna start with some bacon, some potatoes, and some fresh caught fish. And we are making a walleye chowder. <laughs> What I'm doing to start off is getting my bacon into a hot pan, start to get it nice and crispy. I want it crispy because once we start adding liquids to it, I don't want it to really lose its crispiness. I don't like bacon that's got that kind of like gummy texture to it. So we're just gonna get it nice and crispy. Now I have gone ahead and pre-chopped some celery, some onion and some carrots. We've got about a quarter inch kind of cube going on with everything. Add it to the bacon with the bacon grease. And we're just gonna cook these things until they're soft. So I'm gonna add that in right now. And as that's doing its thing, I'm just gonna go in there with a couple of bay leaves. You don't have to put the bay leaves in this, but if you have them, go ahead and throw them in there. All right, so those veggies in there are smelling amazing. We've got these beautiful aromas going on and I'm going to add my potatoes into this mix right now. So the potatoes, they'll take a minute or two to cook. We're not cooking them all the way right now. We're just warming them up. This shockingly is one russet potato, so I'm gonna say that one russet would be perfect for this recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and add this whole thing in there. One of the reasons why you're, we're gonna add the potato to this, it's just gonna give it some really nice texture. It's gonna throw some carbs in there, which help bulk up this dish a little bit. It also releases a little bit of starch. The potatoes start to break down a bit and it helps to thicken the chowder as we progress and add the liquids to it. So we're just gonna break those down very slightly, warm them through, but now we're at the point where we're going to add some vegetable stock. If you happen to have some seafood stock, that's all, that also works really well, start pouring it in. And all I wanna do is make sure that I'm covering up the potatoes and the vegetables. We wanna make sure that this is definitely more like a soup rather than a stew. And we're just gonna crank the heat to make sure that this warms up and bring it back up to a simmer. So I've got my stock up to a boil now and it's just sort of rolling away. The objective right now is to just make sure that those potatoes get soft. But what I'm gonna do is add some heavy cream. So heavy cream, ch chowder just isn't a chowder unless it's creamy. So we start with that soup base. We've got our stock in there, our vegetable stock. We're going to hit it with this cream and the cream is just not only gonna make it thick, but it's just gonna add that nice creamy texture that you would typically get in a chowder. And this is a little bit of a choose your own adventure. So I'm gonna make sure that I add enough heavy cream to make sure that it's got that nice thick consistency. All right, so here's a little trick that I like to do with my chowder. When you're eating something that has some fish in it, that lemon flavor is just so good. I love lemons. I love the freshness that it adds to a dish, but we need to be very careful when we're adding lemon, especially lemon juice and citrus to anything that has cream in it because we definitely don't want that cream to curdle. So we don't wanna put citrus and lemon juice directly in it. However, the peel of this lemon has some amazing flavors to it. If you're using essential oils or if you have soap that is lemon flavored, more likely it has this lemon peel in it. So we're going to just very carefully shave off the lemon zest and add those pieces into the chowder. And at the end, we'll just make sure that we're not eating these. We'll pull them out ahead of time before we serve it. So now I'm gonna start to season this a little bit. So I didn't add a ton of seasoning in the beginning. So now we wanna add the traditional salt and pepper and then go straight into adding your fish. So there's two things that I really like to put in my chowder that I wanna make sure that I'm not overcooking. One of them is the fish and the second one is the corn. So we wanna put our corn, you can use frozen corn or just cut fresh corn off the cob. Put that in at the very end. All you wanna do is really just warm that through before you serve it. So our fish is gonna take just a second to cook in the hot liquid. So we're going to add the fish and then we're gonna take a cup of corn, toss it in there, fold things around a little bit and it's going to cook extremely quickly. So I've got some walleye and perch meat that we've mixed up. We caught it today fresh on the lake. So yeah, we'll throw that in there, fold it around a few times and everything will be pretty darn close to be ready to eat. All right. Fish is going in, about a cup of sweet corn. You can enjoy your chowder just as a bit of a loose soup and count on the potato starch to thicken that up. But if you like a little more of a hearty dish 
and you want your soup to be a little more thick. I like to go in there with a bit of cornmeal. I'll probably add about a quarter cup to this and just toss that in there, stir it in. And at this point, because our fish is already in the soup, I don't wanna be too aggressive with my stirring with this. So I'm just gonna take my spoon and slowly roll those thicker ingredients around as this cornmeal starts to thicken our broth a little bit and turn this into a nice thick creamy soup. So this is at the thickness that I like to see. It is just looking so hearty. And the way I like to serve it is just with a little bit of lemon. Squeeze that lemon juice either on the top of your bowl or just enjoy some with every single bite. And that little citrus hit really makes this dish pop. So here it is, a creamy walleye corn chowder made out on the lake. Super easy to make, very delicious. It's creamy, it's got that citrus hit. For more information on this recipe, go ahead and check out the blog post link below.